All right, we're gonna show you how to install the RE204 driveway sensor. So I've gone into zones and I'm adding a zone. I've entered the serial number from the driveway sensor. If you open up the bulb here, this is the sensor itself. Pull out the mechanism without pulling the antenna. The serial number is here on the side, okay? So I've entered that in. I'm putting it loop two. The zone description one is driveway. The device type is motion sensor. Response type general monitor. And we're gonna leave it supervised. General monitor means it's not gonna set off any alarms. It's just gonna chime uh, on the panel when there's activity in the driveway. Whether or not the chime is set, it will still, um, it will still chime. It'll say activity detected driveway comes with two C batteries. The instruction manual says it's going to last three to five years. I don't know how accurate that is, but that's what the instructions say. So connect your battery, it starts beeping. And pop it back in. And screw in your lid. You try to mount it about 50 feet from the panel. That's preferable. Uh, it does send an RF signal, so you can use a repeater for it. You can probably get it up to, you know, 80 feet from the panel, but uh, I would try not to go any further than that. You're going to mount it with this post mounting piece, so it just slides in like that. It just takes four screws. It does come with a temporary plastic stake, but this is just a temporary. Uh, the driveway sensor should be mounted about door handle height, so this isn't going to get it there, and also uh, when the winter comes, it's going to be completely covered and the grater uh, is going to come and just basically knock it down. So if you have to use this as temporary, uh, just temporarily, but uh, the customer should pound in a post and then you'll screw that to this or to a tree and whatever like that. I'll just show you the sensitivity calibrator here. So it's got a jumper and uh, you can see it's uh, foam. Turn it right side up. High, medium, and low. So right now that's set to low. And if you take it off completely, that's medium. And then if you put it on the other side, that's high. And you can just tell by the diagram. So low is about um, five feet from the sensor is where it'll detect vehicles. Medium is probably gonna be about eight feet. And then high is about 10 feet, maybe at the most 12, depending on how much metal is on the vehicle. So you got a range of between five and 10 feet. Uh, I would try not to go any further than that. All right, let's put in the uh, notification to let the customer know when the driveway sensor is going off. So you'll log into their Total Connect and uh, in events and notifications at the top, you'll go to setup, click that. Then you'll go over here to the lock, which is security. Um, go to sensor open and close, sensor open and then pick the driveway motion sensor. Add a notification here to send it to default group, uh, either always or you can set it so that only when the customer arms the system um, that it sends the notification. So uh, pick that and then save. And just go to my profile to see where it's sending it. So if it's set to e the notifications are set to email, it'll send them an email. You can also send it to SMS uh, text message to the customer's phone. So you just pick their uh, phone carrier here and then uh, enter their phone number in the space provided and click save. It doesn't always work with the phone with the SMS text message. Uh, I find the email is a little bit more reliable, but uh, but if it does work with the SMS right away, then it should be no problem using it. So just you're aware of that. So that's how you set up the driveway motion sensor. Hope you guys found that helpful.